What's up, guys? So if you're using Generate Press as your theme and you need to add script tags to your header, Generate Press has a built-in feature called Elements that allows you to do it super quick and easy. All right, so in your dashboard, you're going to go to Appearance, and just below Generate Press, click on Elements. So this is where we're going to add um, our hook so that we can add any header code that we need. Uh, things like Google Analytics codes, um, like I mentioned. So we're going to say add new element. And this is going to be a hook. Click create. So the key here, um, what you can do is really have different elements for every single script that you have. And then you can label them accordingly. And then you can control them that way individually so that if for whatever reason you wanted to shut off your analytics or um, disable your Facebook pixel, um, you're not affecting any of the other code. You can do that on its own. So uh, we'll name this accordingly and just say Google Analytics code. Um, then you're going to input your script code here in the code box. And down here at the bottom is where you're going to want to specify where you need this code to live. So uh, by default, it's already selected WP head for us. Uh, I know there are some script tags that uh, it, it tell you to insert it in the open of the body tag. So that's where WP body open would live um, or even in the footer. So depending on the instructions of what you're looking to add is where you're going to select the type of hook. So next, you want to uh, specify where you want this code to live, whether you want it uh, on your entire site header or if you just want it on a specific page or maybe several pages. Um, so if you come to the Display Rules tab, under Location, um, more times than not, it's entire site, right? So we're going to go entire site. Um, you can exclude certain pages uh, for whatever reason. If you said, you know, I really don't want this tag on my blog, um, you can remove it, uh, exclude from any posts, um, and then certain users as well. Most of the time, you're going to want to select all users. Um, so then you're going to hit publish, and you'll be all set to go. So if we just come back to the elements um, overview, we can see that right here is our Google Analytics code. And as I mentioned, you can turn this on or off. So all you have to do is just like any other post, um, quick edit and make it a draft. And now that code is disabled from your site. All right, and that's it really. Um, that's how you can add certain code to your header using Generate Press Elements. Uh, always be sure to label your elements accordingly so that way in the future if you need to refer back to them and can't recognize the code, you always know what it is and whether or not you want to enable it or disable it. Have a good one.